Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to fill out a graph, uh, how to fill out a table uh, using a given graph. So we are working on an Excel Q12 complete a function table from a graph uh, HXF. The first question is about is use the graph of the function to complete the table. So for each of the values all we have to do is figure out what point the question is about and then uh, complete it. So the first one it says for the inputs are the x values and outputs are the y values. So as a rule of thumb with the functions what I do is it says a function uh, what I do is I just uh, think of a machine that I call function and then whatever I put those are my x's I put the x's and then y's come out of that function function machine so in here it says if I put 4 for x the answer is going to be 3 so just look at that point it indicates 3 for the y okay so same thing you can find the same pattern for 5 to 6 5 goes to 6 on the y axis 5 on the x goes to 6 on the y so what we need to figure out is what is the corresponding you know, what is the pair of 6 so if x equals to 6 what is y that's the question so if x equals to 6 we go up here that point its y value is 9 so 6 goes to 9 all we have to do is just put 9 in here and then submit your answer so in here same thing figure out the pair of 4 okay that's what we are going, going to do 4 goes to what number so first x on the uh, 4 on the x-axis goes to this point up here and then the y value of this purple point is 6 so I type 6 in and then move on let's skip a level and see what type of questions we are gonna have it's not any difficult it's just more than one point so let's see what 7 goes to on the x-axis so find negative 7 over here and then go to the graph we are not gonna go up because there's nothing up there this negative 7 goes to this point down here and then on the y and then go straight to y y is right here it's negative 5 so the first one is negative 5 negative 7 goes to negative 5 now let's change the color and figure out the other point uh, the second point is negative 6 right here from this point you gotta go to the graph the graph is purple it is beneath that point so go down here from this point on the purple graph go to the y-axis negative 4 so negative 6 goes to negative 4 we put that number up here that's it now let's skip one more level to see if the question gets any harder. Uh, 70 point. Okay, it looks complicated, but not at all. Negative 10, find that value on the x axis. It doesn't say input, this time it says x. So go to the x axis, find negative 2 right here, go to the graph. The green graph is right above, like for that negative 10, it's uh, up here go up here that point and then from here go straight to the vertical axis the y-axis and then the point that we cross is 8 so negative 10 goes to positive 8 and then let's do the same thing for positive 10 positive 10 is up here over there and then the graph is above the point you go up here and then straight to the y-axis that value is 3 so 10 goes to 3 on the y-axis y and f of x is the same f of x is the same as y they both indicate the output 
they tell you what will come out of your function y or f of x okay now let's just skip one more level okay now we have piecewise functions what piecewise functions are they are more than one piece uh, the logic behind it is the same find this number on the x-axis on the horizontal 7 is right here go to the graph down here at this point its y value is go to the y negative 6 so if you put negative 6 over there and then let's change the color into something I don't want to write with white okay 8 on the x-axis right here go to the graph it's down here oops that point its y value is negative 7 so this right here is going to be negative 7 so that's how you complete a graph use uh, how you complete a function table using a graph and let me know if you have a question thanks for watching guys